How you doing guys? Uh, we're back. We're going to be doing a booze review tonight. Um, this is going to be a bit different for me because I don't believe I've ever done a straight up vodka review before. So this is going to be a first for me. Um, I know I've had people in the past ask me to do vodkas and I haven't really been all that into doing it because um, to me I've always been of the mindset that vodka is something that you almost always have to mix with something to get any sort of good out of it. Um, I've always sort of felt like vodka is fairly flavorless and odorless so there wasn't a lot um of difference between different vodka brands uh i'm willing to allow that i'm probably totally wrong about that and people can definitely yell at me in the comments section if they feel like it um but at, at any rate we're going to be doing vodka here um we're going to be doing crystal head vodka i keep wanting to call it crystal skull vodka and you so you can see why but it's crystal head vodka uh, it's distilled in Newfoundland, Labrador, um, Canadian-made stuff. Uh, apparently, gets rave reviews on vodka rating um, uh, competitions, websites, etc., etc. Um, started up by Dan Aykroyd and some other dude, uh, John Alexander or something. His name is who's an artist or something, but Dan Aykroyd, you definitely know uh, from Ghostbusters. Um, Saturday Night Live, stuff like that. Uh, but, yeah, um, basically the whole design concept um, has to do with the uh, idea of uh, 13, like some sort of legend of 13 crystal skulls scattered across the world by some ancient civilization, which most people think are aliens. If you've seen that stupid, um, the latest Indiana Jones film that totally, almost totally ruined the entire franchise, uh, that had the crystal skull in it or whatever, right? And Dan Ar Aykroyd's way into uh, alien abductions and paranormal shit like that. Like, he's a true believer in that kind of sort of stuff. So, um, that's basically where it came from. And uh, it's 40%. Um, you can buy a 750 milliliter bottle in the NSLC now for $50. $50 square, I guess. Uh, it's $49.98. And I guess with the pennies rounding up, that probably takes it to $50 square, right? Okay. And the vodka is quadruple distilled and triple filtered through charcoal and triple filtered as well through Hermaker, Herkimer, Diamond Crystals, something like that. I have no idea. I have no idea what that entails, what it has to do with the quality of the vodka, anything like that. Like I said, I'm a total noob when it comes to vodka. It's just not my thing at all. But we're going to dig into it here and see what we think. See if we can get anything out of this. So this might be a very bad review. <laughs> I actually I can probably guarantee it's going to be a very bad review because I'm just, I have no idea. All right. Well, of course, it's clear as day, like just about every vodka I've ever seen. I have seen some vodkas that are a bit darker, but basically looks just like water. Definitely get the legs on the side of the glass there. Syrupy almost kind of legs. So we'll go right to the aroma if there is any. Smells very much like uh, alcohol. Um, maybe slightly grainy, a little bit of sweetness, but mostly just um, like smelling uh, hydrogen peroxide or something along those lines. Yeah, nothing that I can detect uh, at all. So cheers, we'll go right to the taste. Interesting. Definitely burns the tongue a little bit. Definitely has a flavor. Um, sweet grain up front. Gets a bit sweeter as it lingers on the mouth. 
no real finish to speak of. I don't know if um, vodka is supposed to have a finish at all. Yeah, it's got like um, basically just the alcohol you would taste in um, a real good whiskey that isn't, you know, <clears throat> if you just took like the alcohol flavor out of like a really good whiskey, that's basically what you got. You don't have any of the whiskey flavors or anything around it, um, enhancing, subduing, etc. Um I think I'd be better off just reviewing like flavored vodkas and telling you if they're a good drink or not or whatever, but um, it's not bad. It goes down incredibly smooth for what it is. Like you definitely can taste the alcohol, but it's not like very warm going down. Uh, it's definitely not hitting my gag reflex or anything like that. Almost... Um, there almost is like a, I dare say like a charcoal-y taste to it. Um, maybe that's what the charcoal filtering does. I have no idea. Uh, so don't quote me on that. Don't, I'm not pretending to know shit about this. Um, it doesn't taste bad. Uh, I can't say not recommended, definitely. I mean, um, I'm definitely not going to give letter grades to this, uh, like I've started to do with whiskey. Uh, I just, I have no idea about vodka at all, so I'm just going to say thumbs up. It's, it's, it's recommended in the sense that it has essentially no flavor. It's very smooth going down. You do get a little bit of alcohol warmth, a little bit of alcohol burn, but nothing major. It could easily mix with just about anything, which is the biggest strength of vodka in the first place, as far as I can tell. Um... Yeah, so, and it comes in a very, very nice package. Uh, it really does. I don't know if I'd want to pay 50 damn dollars for a 750 version of this. Uh, just for the damn bottle. That would not be worth it, but... Cool-ass bottle. If you got it as a gift, or if you went in half and half of a friend or something, definitely worth it. Um, yeah, so, uh, Crystal Head Vodka, uh, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. It's a recommendation. Uh, I think I make dive into some more vodkas in the future and in the review and see if I can get anything else out of different vodkas. Uh, we'll see. All right, guys, be good. We'll see you later.